You've got a pension at work, you want to retire, but what do you need to consider? Hey, it's Eric with Jazz Wealth Managers. Let's talk a little bit about pensions. If you followed me a little bit, I've shared before that I was a firefighter previously before getting into finance and everybody there had a pension. But the thing about it is, is you've really got to think through some things. So I've got three things that you should be considering when it comes to retirement if you have a pension. Because some of these people aren't really thinking through because they know, hey, I got a pension, all is going to be well. So the first thing that I want to talk about is where is your liquidity coming from? If you are near retirement or going into retirement, you got to make sure that you've got an extra bucket of money over here. Because if you have a pension, it's going to be nice, but it's a fixed income. And if you can't go and work extra hours of overtime or whatever the case is to make a couple extra bucks, then you're set on this fixed income. Having some liquidity, you need a new car or the AC goes out of the house, whatever the case is, making sure that you are able to live within your means, but then also having the liquidity of another account will help to get you through the retirement years. The second one I wanna talk about, and this is a big one, and it's taxes. Pensions are generally always taxed. So when it comes to your pension and you're getting taxed on that, if you do have other savings, think about what you've got. A lot of people that have a pension, maybe they've got also a 401k. I see a lot of union workers that have that. And then you also have the firefighters, uh, the police officers, teachers. You may have a 457b or a 403b. You've got a lot of different types of accounts out there on top of having a pension. But with those, a lot of those are pre-tax money. Well, if you are retiring and your pension's going to be taxed and now all of the money you have is pre-tax money set aside, think through that a bit. Make sure you're either looking at having some money in Roth after tax money or in a taxable account or a joint brokerage account, you know, something like that. Or if not, do some planning. In the retirement years, you could look at even doing Roth conversions. So what that's going to be is where you're going to be taking some of your money that is pre-tax converting that over to tax-free money so that it will grow tax-free later on. You'll pay the tax today on the money you convert, but everything else will grow tax-free. That's a good strategy a lot of times that people with pensions aren't considering. And the biggest one when it comes to pensions and retirement, this is one that unfortunately some people really get hit with and, and it's hurting a lot of people and that's the windfall provision. So make sure you're finding out about your social security. And if you have the windfall provision, which basically falls in place where if your employer, oftentimes it's a government employee employer, doesn't pay into social security then for you and you're not having social security taken out of your check, then what ends up happening is that you fall under this windfall provision and you may not get hardly any social security. So you may be banking on, hey, I'm gonna also have social security here and that may not be the case. Now, one interesting thing that's going on right this second, a little extra bonus for you, is if you check this out, uh, it looks like, who is this guy? Kevin Brady. Uh, I don't know who Kevin Brady is. I'm wondering if he's either related to the Bradys, like, like the Brady Bunch, Tom Brady, I don't know. But either way, Kevin Brady here. So uh, Kevin wants to repeal the windfall uh, act there. So when it comes to the, what is it? Windfall exclusion provision, WEP. I think that's what, what they call it there. So when it comes to that though, they're actually looking to potentially have something there with legislation. This is very recent going on right this second. Um, and they're actually looking to try to get rid of that so that people will still have the social security on top of everything else. Thanks for watching. If you wanna watch more FinTips videos, click here. Be sure to like and subscribe also.